my name is Evangeline and I am a part of You Matter, which is an outreach branch of the Counseling Center. And today I just wanted to use this time to talk about um, issues around the LGBT community and talk a little bit about the stereotypes around LGBTQ and um, being in college and being LGBT and how um, LGBT stereotypes can affect our mental health and just mental health around the LGBT community. I wanted to make this video because I know when I personally wasn't out of the closet yet, I was really looking online for more information about LGBT and I would really look up to those older than me who are dealing with it in college and um, beyond. And I also just wanted to make this video to get more information out there about the LGBT community because um, it's such a big topic now in today's society and the more information we can get out to people, the better. My hair looks seriously like, what's it look like? It's gotta look good. It looks great. So to help me out with today's topic on the LGBTQ community, I have my friend Jimmy. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh, what are we supposed to say? Okay, no, that was good. That was good. What's up, Jimmy? Hey, how's it going? So we wanted to begin by talking about um, stereotypes around the LGBT community because I think um, there's so much stereotypes around the community that can really affect someone's um, well-being and their mental health. So do you have any uh, so common stereotypes? So one of them says LGBTQ people are promiscuous and that is actually false because I'm more of a relationship oriented person. I don't really like to randomly just meet up with a guy and that's it. I'm very emotionally invested. Yeah. Yeah. You are. You are too. <laughs> <laughs> Bisexual people are like, uh, what's it called? Like people think that it's not a real sexuality because they think that you need to be attracted to one or the other sex. You yeah. can't be attracted to both. And and they that, face a lot of scrutiny. Yeah, that is completely false because sexuality in general is such a big spectrum. And I don't really think that everybody in the world is completely on the very end or the other end of the spectrum. Like, oh, that's it says. Yeah, so another stereotype is that bisexual or sex fiends who will do it with anyone just because they happen to like um, two different genders. And that is completely false mm -hmm. because evidence to suggest that bisexuals are more sex sexually active than anybody else. Yeah, when you're in a relationship with a guy, like if you're a gay man with a guy or a lesbian woman with another woman, they always ask who's the girl and who's the guy in the relationship. I hate this stereotype. Uh, every day, um, if I'm with a female partner, I get the question, so who's the guy? And I'm like, Neither of us, that's why we're dating. Yeah, or that's why. <laughs> or they're, yeah, they say that to me and I'm like, also neither because I like men yeah. and I'm dating a man. Yeah. Yeah. So I think people still try to make gender roles a thing, even in, um, in homosexual relationships and people just need to understand that uh, those kinds of expectations aren't really there in, in gay. LGBT relationships. Mm -hmm. So HIV slash AIDS is a gay disease, and this is actually a very common misconception. I mean, yes, it's, pre it's more dominant in the gay community, but anybody can get it. Any straight person can get it. It doesn't have to be through blood. It can be some sort of bodily fluid. So that's entirely false. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, and I hate this one with all my heart. Like when, let's just say you have a friend who also happens to be gay, or like oh, whatever. I know you're gonna say. And then they just automatically assume that you're like you've been with each other before. Oh. Uh, you know. Yeah. Like if, if you have a lesbian friend, they assume that you guys have, like. Yeah. Hooked up. Or if someone's like, "Oh my God, you're gay! I know another gay person. Oh you guys should God, totally be that's together." The worst. That's the worst. And we are not attracted to someone just because they are also gay. Yeah. Yeah. There's the a lot more than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, a very big stereotype that I get specifically. Because I'm lesbian, I think um, people expect me to look and act a certain way, which I, I guess, typically don't fit the normal stereotype. So I commonly get things such as, but you're so pretty to be gay, or you're the prettiest lesbian I've ever seen. 
And just so you know, that is completely offensive yeah, and rude. not flattering at all. Yeah. Um, there's no stereotype that anyone has to fit being LGBT. You're just another person. You have different traits, just like heterosexual people do. Mm-hmm. That's stupid. Okay, this sound is blinding. <laughs> it was really hot right for a second. <laughs> okay. The, this one says, gay men are all limp wristed, swishy, and talks. Swishy? Swishy and talks with a lisp. That is not true. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a lisp. I mean, <laughs> and I know plenty of gay guys and they don't really sound like that either. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I get pretty vibrant with my hands and I'm talking if I'm passionate about the subject. Yeah. But that's anybody. So, um, if you are LGBT or um, coming out as LGBT, just know you don't have to fit any type of stereotype. There's no specific traits that you need to have to be gay or straight for that matter just be you (laughs) just be you so jimmy what is it like for you being lgbtq in college honestly it's been fun for me and it's been not super difficult because we live in a very like liberal like kind of community i've definitely encountered some like people who are like awful that have like like um made fun of me before. I think only like two people though. Yeah. Out of all that and like this is our fourth year here so nothing like bad like that. I mean I love it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't define who I am but it's like I don't know. It hasn't been super hard here at all. What about you? That's good. That's good. I think at first it was um, really difficult because I came to college and everyone that I was meeting was straight. Like mm. all my girlfriends that were on my floor and um Everyone was straight, so I didn't want to tell anyone at first. I just referred to my girlfriend as my boyfriend, and no one knew for a while. But it's also really scary when you're getting um, the same-sex roommate because you don't want them to to think of you differently because, you know, you're changing in front of them and you're living Mm. with them. So it took me a while to finally come out. But once I did and I finally told my friends, yeah, my boyfriend is a girlfriend, they were just like, oh, cool. And that was it. Wait, now <laughs> they that, didn't care. Now I think, but I will bring this up. So I came out after high school, mm-hmm. like three weeks after I, I graduated from high school. And I always had like a group of guy friends growing up. And that was my biggest concern. I'm like, I'm going to have no guy friends. Is they're just going to automatically assume I'm just going to like hit on them or be interested in them, which is not true at all. Like if you're straight and probably not going to want to like do that to you. I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable ever. But now I have a big group of guy friends, I feel like. Yeah. A lot of girlfriends too, but um, overall, like that's been fine. And it's been easy in college. Yeah. And I think um, like how our peers look at us and especially being in college, it's such a critical place in our lives of like knowing our place in society. So the way that like our friends and our, our um, peers look at us is like very important and like really does have an impact on our mental health. So I think it's awesome that at least nowadays people are so cool about it. Yeah, it wasn't a, a, probably it wasn't really like super like accepting until like I don't honestly want to say like only like ten years ago. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not- Even though um, it, it's a lot easier nowadays to come out um, and and be openly gay. It is still a very, very scary process when you yourself are are going through it, and it feels like you kind of never stop coming out each time you meet someone. Mm -hmm. You always kind of have to break that ice of like, oh, like, I'm gay, and just that awkward few seconds of knowing if they're okay with it, and people usually are, but it's very scary. I sometimes, like, doing that, like, not shock value thing, but, like, we're, like, I'm talking to someone who I just met, and I'm, and if I have, like, a boyfriend, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going out to dinner with my boyfriend tonight, and I just like to see their reaction on their face, to see, like, if they're, like, yeah. taken aback, or, and most of the time, they're not. They're yeah. kind of just like, oh, okay, cool, and it's, like, nothing that really gets brought up, where it's not as taboo yeah, as, like, it used to be, considered. Okay. Coming out was fun, though. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of fun with it. So, although being LGBTQ is a more openly um, accepted thing than how it was in the past, it's still, 
you know, um, takes a really big part in people's lives and it still is a really difficult process for most people. And if you or someone you know is um, dealing with coming out or just the struggles on LGBTQ and you attend Chico State, we do have the Counseling Center available in the SSC. It's free and confidential. And if you don't attend Chico State, there is a National Crisis Hotline. And there's a lot more resources than just those two. There's, yeah. like, a ton. You could go to, like, you know, they have groups, right, where they talk mm -hmm. about their experiences and stuff like that, and yeah. that can be really helpful because social support is huge. Yeah. Definitely. And you will always find other people who relate to you and that um, don't necessarily always fit the same stereotype that people think they are. It's like, I found him. I found college. her in college. <laughs> Last did we have together. Blossom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a terrible class. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thanks for Thanks. watching. <laughs> Stay tuned for our next video. Video.